everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken and rice. The stuff we're going to use today is stuff that we have in our pantry um, that we've either got for long-term food storage, canned, or you know just stuff that we have around the house that we don't have to go to the store and buy because we already have it on hand. We have our long-term food storage rice. We have our cream of whatever soup, our canned chicken, we've got some parsley, we've got some uh, chicken soup base that we're going to use, and some salt and pepper to season it for taste. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's going to be quick and easy. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a saucepan two cups of water. And then I'm going to put that on the stove, let it boil, and then add one cup of rice to it. And and cook it until it's done. Okay, I've got one cup of cold water and I'm going to do one tablespoon of our cream of whatever soup. Put that in there. We're going to put in one tablespoon of our chicken soup base, a half a teaspoon of parsley, and then we're going to take and whisk that all together, get it incorporated, and then when our rice is done, we're going to add that to it. Okay, our rice is done. It's al dente. Now we're going to add our cream of whatever soup and the soup base mixture that I made earlier to that. The reason I left it al dente was because you're going to add more liquid to it, so uh, it's going to, you know, make it cook a little more. So we're going to stir that together. And then we are going to add our chicken. You can use canned chicken. You can cook your own chicken. I just used the canned chicken that I already have in my pantry. Um, trying to use things that I already have around the house, so I don't have to go buy it from the store. You notice I'm making it all in one pot. Now what I'm going to do is I've stirred this all together. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And then before I serve it on the plate, I'm going to check it again to see if it needs any more. A little salt. About a teaspoon each to get us started. Let's stir that in really well. We're going to let this cook for about 15 more minutes and then we'll see where we are at that point. 